what's up guys welcome back to the channel and today we are here back in gta online man for for what it's been a while um <laughs> since i've been on this game and today we are going to be taking a look at the brand new dlc for this game arena wars um so it's been re recently introduced for um for gta um you know kind of this like uh there was one, one big final dlc before the end of the year and uh you know next year we'll probably get some more updates hopefully um is the case but uh man we got the brand new update here and i gotta say like i tried it out yesterday and it actually is pretty good um i'm not gonna lie it actually it offers so much uh, it's like a bunch of different adversary modes packed into one dlc um and it pretty much is amazing um i'm so glad they didn't just you know add like different adversary modes for different things they actually packed it all into one dlc and you'll see you'll see we'll kind of see what i'm talking about in a little bit but uh no uh we got some brand new adversary modes uh well not adversary modes we got some brand new uh things to explore um like the brand new arena war, arena war itself so if we go to the website here um you'll see you, you kind of this kind of pops up here uh buy upgradable vehicles buy arena ready vehicles and then buy the workshop now i actually haven't bought a workshop yet because as you guys can see um over there in the right hand quarter um top right hand corner i only have a million bucks um to spend right there and i'm not sure how much it's all gonna cost it oh, 995,000. that that actually is not that bad actually i thought it was gonna be more um than that actually i, I didn't think it'd be that expensive okay um so we got uh workshop graphics um you know and obviously if you add more op the more options you add the more expensive it's gonna be um so it is free already so i don't know why <laughs> i don't know where the 995,000 comes from that makes no absolutely no sense but uh you can pretty much do all of this um you got your colors um garage floor one uh, garage floor b1 excuse me and then garage floor b2 and you got your uh, mechanic right here um as well so you can have the weapons expert so you can actually go all out here you got benny's omw mechanics you got your personal quarters you don't have to have that that's two hundred twenty thousand dollars um that's 1.7 million dollars now if you go and add every single little like expensive option here um let's just see how much this totals out to um we're already at 2.5 million dollars i mean that is absolutely insane like let's just say you want to you know add every single little detail right here uh you know the the urbane right there uh we got the bennies and then we got the weapons of expert personal corners it totals out to every like the most expensive option i'm saying 4.3 million dollars that is expensive that you can buy now um you can actually buy buy these cars right here um we have the rat truck we got the uh glendale the sound van the dominator the impaler which actually looks pretty interesting actually um let's see future stock and then uh so you can actually preview the uh modded versions of these and then you actually obviously got the stock one and uh you can actually you can actually buy it as a stock version so you don't have to have um you don't have to have the actual um the actual workshop but uh you also got the gargoyle here um which looks absolutely interesting which looks pretty interesting man um i'm not gonna lie i mean ninety thousand dollars for this bike um i actually used to own that um i actually used to have one of those um bikes it was pre it's pretty interesting and then we have the apocalypse slash arena ready cars right here um such as the apocalypse Seb what sabreus sabreus i i don't even know how to pronounce that actually um we got the modern preview and then a stock version 
um, right here doesn't look bad and then my favorite my personal favorite the one i kind of wish that was a stock car um which is obviously the apocalypse zr 380 um which would have been awesome if that was a stock car version because obviously if you don't know this is a 350z um this is just a 350z uh i mean it's cool to edit in the game and all you know like you don't have a 250z in this game but still i wish it was a stock car version i wish there was like a you know it didn't have all this stuff on there um and, all, and whatnot uh, but nonetheless it is cool to still have the car in the game but it is two million dollars and i mean it kind of makes sense but it kind of doesn't at the same time um you know that and that is just kind of it sort of sounds ridiculous man um but <laughs> yeah i mean that's rockstar for you man gta that is what gta turned into man but we also have one of the brand new cars here in arena from here from arena, arena wars which is the pegasi toros toros um you know which is pretty obviously based off of the lamborghini urus um the brand new run not the concept the brand new lamborghini urus which actually seems to be a pretty popular car actually um i'm more popular than i ever thought it would be actually so um that, i guess that's good i mean it just came out of the brand new forza um horizon 4 um fortune island expansion so that's pretty cool um you know to have that and see that car in in horizon 4 um which i mean obviously already there was a concept in that game but anyways um there you go um i don't i'm not sure if it is um the fastest suv in the game um i would assume so um just because it's a lamborghini and well it's i would say it should be one of the fastest or not the fastest but um anyways it's not bad um i i didn't personally buy it um because that's just not me um but i know they do have some pretty cool cars coming on coming along the way um that i would like to invest in so uh yeah let's get into this whole arena war thing man because i am actually um pretty excited to start this man so um here we go so like i said i played some of it last night um you know just to test it out you know see um what i was missing out because i didn't make a video on it and this came out this dlc i would say came out about two weeks ago and um i may be wrong but it did come out at least two weeks ago and um i just kind of missed it so anyways man we have so we have all of these um, different games that we can play we got flag war uh, we got the carnage uh, we got here come the monsters um, game masters hot bomb tag team um, I played a lot of it man I played Re I actually played wreck it um, and I, I believe I did play tag team um, I did play flag war too a lot um, and the great thing about this is is that these all of these right here all of these you know activities right here are double money and double rp so you can pretty much play this and make some bank as well uh too so that i like that's pretty amazing and i think this lasts through um sometime a little bit after january i'm not specifically sure on how long this is going on but i know it's going to be a little bit after january this is going on so make sure you head um so make sure you get on some gta and play some arena war activities man so you don't even have the thing is you don't have to own a workshop you don't have to own cars you don't have to own any of that just to have fun with these and i'm so glad that is the case um you don't have, really have to spend a whole lot of money just to pretty much have fun in this with this dlc buzzer beater here and uh we also have snow in gta online as well too obviously it is close to christmas so um you know we also we got the brand new snow uh merry christmas uh, by the way um i'm pretty sure um this video is gonna come out um before then so it's gonna be come out before christmas day so um just uh wish you all a, just wish you all a merry christmas real quick uh, we're gonna go this way 
We're already, we already, we're already in first place, if I can say that. Oh no! No! Oh man, that was terrible. That was terrible. Um, probably should have known not to go that way. Um, here we go. Here we go. Oh, 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 yeah, wrong way. <laughs> For sure. Um, yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. This is dead. This this is not going well. Um here we go. But I gotta say man, this DLC man it's not bad. It's actually pretty cool. It's actually pretty fun. Um for, for the most part because it gives you a lot to do um, and it's different actually it's not the you know kind of business making money uh, strategy thing and oh it's oh, wow it's kind of different actually all right so uh, I guess we're here um, uh, I guess we're lots of this car man this is the weenie nightmare issy uh, so this is actually um, one of the custom versions of the weenie sc classic i think the classic version and uh looks pretty cool actually <laughs> looks uh <laughs> very interesting for sure i mean this would be um and if she's in this would be an interesting ride to show up with um at any car show for sure um you get this let's just say you get a lot of attention um with this one so when life flies out here man Ooh. six Five, my god no 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 uh, okay so yeah you can also do this too as well so I guess you can do this on some events um, uh, once you um once you die once you get destroyed you can do this as well um, oh and this is one of the things you can do You can also do with the EMP as well. Which actually is pretty interesting. Um, to have this in GTA, man, a drone. Imagine this was an actual thing, like in free mode. Like, imagine, like, we had, like, drones all around GTA. That'd be pretty awesome, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, I wish I had my EMP right now. I would get them so bad. Come on. Come on. EMP charge. For real though. For real though. For real though. For real though. Charge. All right, all right, all right. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. All right. So, have to wait for them for um to mess up, and then I'll get them. Hopefully that's soon. And oh, yeah. Didn't want to do it just yet. Uh, it's not my chance. Oh, I got him, huh? He and Pete, huh? That didn't cause a whole lot of damage right there, um, which is kind of what we want. It's not what we want, however, <laughs> this game is interesting actually. It's getting little slides right there, because we have to, it's part of the way man 
that's how you play the game. All right, um, all right, and we're down to six people now. But they really make this like a game show. Like it, it actually is pretty cool. I I keep mentioning that like I don't, I, I don't. The thing is about this uh, DLC is like they, it's like a it's like a game show almost. It's pretty cool. Not gonna lie. And cross through there. Excuse me. Pardon me. Uh, all right. So whenever you hit your other teammates, you don't actually lose a whole lot of health, which I'm glad about. Cause that would be bad um, if something like that were to happen. If it weren't my teammate. Um. All right. Here we go. Gun tower. I can always go to the gun tower. Um, which, it, I mean, it's fine, but, like, I kind of don't want to. I kind of don't want to be that guy. Um. <laughs> Two-wheeling. All right, all right. Ooh, all right. I see you, GTA. Excuse me. This is fun, actually. <laughs> oh! <laughs> we're just so. Uh, this is actually a random bit, man. Uh, we're actually. Just having a random snowball fight, man. This dude comes up to me, throws a snowball. Uh, so I'm just like, why not? Uh, <laughs> dang. All right, I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. So you can only hold nine. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. About to die. About to die. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, god dang, bro. All right. All right. Uh, all right, boys, we're in the clothing store right now. Uh, let's take a look at some of the new clothing items that we have here because we have a brand new tab here, um, which is called Arena War Top. So uh, we got ap apocalyptic, apocalyptic, Future Shock, and Nightmare. So that's pretty much like the same as the vehicles. Um, the same as the vehicles, I got you know you got apocalyptic vehicles, uh, future shock vehicles, and nightmare vehicles. So uh, I guess you have the clothing to match. So apocalyptic, um, you know something interesting about the clothing items, they are seventy thousand um, dollars, all the way up to eighty thousand dollars for these. And the only way, and then you can also unlock them for I believe a cheaper price. Um, or probably free um, you can unlock them through buying an arena war workshop and um, pretty much being able to um, unlock them that way so um, that's it they don't look they don't look bad um, you know if you want to you know have your whole arena war thing going then this is pretty much um, the way to do it but I wouldn't spend um, you know, fifty, fifty thousand, sixty thousand dollars, seventy thousand, eighty thousand dollars. I wouldn't spend that much on clothing items. That's that's a little too expensive for me. Um, I mean, this one, you know, four thousand dollars, four thousand dollars for a T-shirt. Like, it's not too terrible. Um, but you know, it's usually T-shirts, um, you know, go for that price. Um, you know nowadays if they're the more expensive ones um, but they're not it, it's not like anything special so um, I mean it is special these are special well not special spot they're not these are like uh, these are like rare um, items you know that you can only get these are kind of uh, different ones anyway so um, yeah man um, 
this i guess he's this is not bad um we got the me tv blue 90s we got the me tv safari um can't see it because of my jacket i'm sorry but uh so sorry <laughs> but i uh, cannot see that because of my jacket um it's cold out there man it's cold out there but uh we got a new designer t-shirts we don't we do not have new designer t-shirts we, we have new t-shirts we do not have any new t-shirts as well um but we do in fact have some brand new unlockable items, special tops so if you go in your special tops you do have some brand new unlocks um uh, well it's not in the special unlocks actually it's in the brand it actually is all the way up here um you know you have the anis um anis t-shirt which is like a nissan uh nissan t-shirt got the vapid uh, oh no this is not the hats nope still tops uh still tops um okay re arena war pants uh you got thirty thousand dollars for pants uh <laughs> let's just say um you know that that's the that's expensive kind of pants man um that's must be uh must be living then um twenty five thousand dollars for the camo woodland dark woodland chain pants paints not not pants paints you see that you see that like what did rockstar mess up or is that how it actually is i i think i i would say it's a mess up because it, they put paints instead of pants no dark woodland chain paints it's a interesting pair of paints you got there <laughs> but no uh fertile though uh you know it is um, pretty cool. I mean, we also got the shorts here too. Twenty thousand dollars for shorts. My God, uh, I actually kind of like them, um, to be honest. But like, I, I probably wouldn't buy them. They'd probably just sit there. Um, got stitch pants. I guess that those are not bad either. Um, if you're into that, but I'm not spending thirty thousand dollars on that. Um, no way. Um, ever. In GTA, I'm not. I'm spending that money. Okay, so we got rubberized boots. Rubberized. Okay, so those are not new. Um, and these are part of their Arena Wars shoes as well. And then we have these, which are pretty much you know, which are I would say they're pretty much light up shoes um, in real life, um, just on athletic type shoes here in GTA so um, pretty cool that they added that um, gets their little unique touch um, in there in the game um, pretty cool pretty cool um, we have that and then that's pretty much it I would say um, that is <laughs> that is pretty much it for the clothing options I believe we do have hats though so I'm gonna try to find those um, I'm not sure if we do have any sunglasses. Uh, let's see. Okay, we don't. We do not have any sunglasses. In fact, uh, let's see if we have. Can I check out the hats? Yeah, we I do. I wear most of this myself. Flight, Smuggles Run, Doomsday, Doomsday. Yeah, here we go. So we got the hats. Uh, okay, that's like the basic hat, the most basic hat you can get have in the, here. What? Wait, I was expecting like some like, you know, crazy headgear going on here. I was expecting some like spikes with helm helmets with spikes, and I'm pretty much done with that clothing experience. That After that. Better. But um, I hope you guys did it kind of enjoy uh, did enjoy this video, man. Um, I think that is gonna be it for today's episode. Um, I do have one more thing to show you guys, and that is with the muscle cars. So um, I guess a new thing with the muscle cars now. Um, okay, yeah, okay. So you have to okay. So another a new thing with the muscle cars now is that whenever you launch the car muscle cars only muscle cars not all cars can do this but 
uh, most of the cars, whenever you launch them, they actually go up. They'll go up like a real drag racing car, uh, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, you know, being a car enthusiast myself, um, I'm not much of a drag racer, but I mean, I would think it's pretty cool whenever I, you know, do come along uh, to an actual drag race and, you know, want to actually do something like this. So, what you have to do is hold the handbrake. Um, so, on PS4, this is um, LR1. On Xbox One, I think it is RB. And then, once you, and then you just rev up the gas. Obviously, we all know what the throttle is um, on the controllers. And then, once you have to do, all you have to do. Uh, I would say redline it and then you have to release the handbrake and then you pretty much do a pretty much do a wheelie just like that man that is pretty amazing though um, I mean just, just, there's just gonna be so much fun with this man and I believe there's just gonna be so many great videos just because of this feature man so thank you Rockstar um, Games to, for adding that man I mean in here in GTA like this was like something like I, I didn't expect I, I didn't like think was gonna be a thing um, you know I didn't you know I wasn't like oh yeah I wish I could do a wheelie in this game but I mean I kind of did um, I won't be honest but I will be honest but okay he wants to jump the lawn okay okay so yeah um, you know it would be really cool I know a lot of Fast and Furious recreations are gonna happen um, because of this man we got the super in here we got the actual um, we got the jester which is the supra and then we have the uh, also have the dot of uh, not the dominator we also have the charger which is the dukes in this game so I know a lot of good recreations are gonna happen just because of this little feature we have here in GTA which is the wheelies now I hope it does stay in the game for as long as the game survives because well it, it is really honestly a really cool feature to have in this, here in this game and um she really enjoy it so hopefully you all do enjoy this video man did enjoy this video if you guys did and you like to see more you guys know what to do drop a like on this video as well don't forget to subscribe for more videos and um yeah man thank you guys so much for watching merry christmas to all of you guys um and i I don't know if I'll do a video before this, um, do a video before, hap uh, before the new year, but, um, yeah, man, happy new year. If I don't do a video, um, before this, I probably will, um, but man, thank you guys so much for watching. Merry Christmas to all of you guys, um, and happy new year, and I'll see you guys all in the next episode.